Once upon a time, in a far, far away land called Canada, there was a dude, actually a man, actually a dude man, god, legend, hero. How the hell is this dude still alive? He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. Gamora is definitely Myron. Okay, back to our story now. This hero dude man legend god, I'm the hero man dude god if you didn't catch on, made it his life mission, life mission, to prove to the world that pendulums are the best deck. Don't. Don't what? Don't give me hope. Hope. That is what this channel stands for. Hope that pendulums will one day rise again to the top. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Pendulums are like Saiyans. Super Saiyans. The more we fight, the more resilient we get. We don't care what gets thrown at us. Let my boy Vegeta tell you. Through all the bands, Double Iris, Astrograph, Electrum Limited, Starving Venom, Monkey Board, Joker, the list goes on and on. Through all the cards that Pendulum hate me had to deal with, through all of that, through my band of a year, through everything Pendulum had to deal with, this list right here, through all the fire we have to deal with, this is the best Pendulum list in history, especially this format. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button and enjoy absolute art. You cannot play the deck the same way and expect to beat Nibiru, the spell, even Dimension Shifter. You can't, it's not just one card you gotta deal with, it's all three. Since you gotta deal with all three of these cards, you must play the deck differently. Hence, we're playing a new game plan. There is a new game plan with the new cards. Who are you? I'm the man, I'm the man. Quite simply, Servant Turbo. Servant Turbo literally makes Nibiru useless. The card is officially trash with Servant Turbo. If you play the normal Pendulum deck, Nibiru will crush you. You cannot hope to draw Apex Avion. Servant and Jackal is the only way to clear Nibiru, and I'll talk about clearing the other ones as we go on. The whole deck is revolved around these six and every possible way to go into it. Now, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at the deck right now. For all the spells you guys notice in there, there's infinity spell cards. And you know what? It's a 40 card deck, as I said. But it's not actually a 40 card deck. It's a 30 card deck because you're playing 10 draw cards. You are playing six servants in a 30 card deck, which means you are going to resolve servant and jackal with counters Literally, let me do the math quickly, yeah, 100% of the fucking time. So, because you want to salt resolve this every single hand, Nibiru becomes useless. Now, the other card that is going to give you a problem in this format is going to be the spell card, Dark Ruler, whatever. Honestly, the card's so relevant that you don't even need to think of it. But after siding, you side into these, which means you're going to have a guaranteed Divine Strike. Election setting the Zephyr Nui. And a guaranteed Divine Strike every hand to stop the spell card. And if they want to hand trap the Electrum, the Jackal is going to save it. If that makes sense for you guys. So it's a game plan to stop the new cards. But you don't need to main these because no one's maining the spell card. They're going to be siding it. So we'll talk about that in the side deck theory. Which I'll explain everything. There's going to be a lot of theory in this video. But we're going to get through as fast as possible. Because I don't like long videos. But I still, there's so much information you guys need to know for the new format. Alright. So... The three servants, the three masteries, 100%. This is, like I said, the whole deck is revolved around these six. These six are the deck. Without these six, there's no deck. Without these six, Pendulum suck this format. They get destroyed by the entire meta new format cards. All right, next. You play nine draw cards. Nine. Nine. You're playing a 31-card deck. I uh, used to play three desires, but I'll explain why we play two. We play two because you side into the Zephyr engine. Just these two. When you side these two in, you can't have desires in the deck with these because the game plan is to bring this out every turn to protect you and also you don't want to play double jackal. So desire, banishing away a jackal going second uh, against Nibiru after siding 
you, you kind of lose your whole game plan there. And with if you banish one of these, you also lose your game plan. So after siding, you got to take out the two desires for this. But going second, you play three desires. You side a third desires to draw into all the cards for going second that are auto win and to more times to, to clear boards going second. But going first, you must take it out to ensure that you, uh, you don't have to play more of these to brick more on those. This is just the most consistent list I've ever seen in my life. And just Servant Turbo to the max, it's insane. Uh, so if you draw any combination of these cards, you literally just auto win, okay? Now, for those that say, oh, I don't like Desires, play Desires. I would love to play three, except it'll conflict with the Zephyrnui, so we can't. Next, more broken cards. Triple Shrine and a Foolish. And double pen called Triple Alliance. Now, one thing you gotta realize, is because the whole deck, the entire deck, simply revolves around Servant and Jackal, right? Or going second and drawing into the auto win side cards, which there are plenty of this format. Now, you want to draw into everything. You want to power spells. Every single card you see here is absolutely busted. It, look, there's 20 cards here. If I draw any of these 20, there's 40 cards in your deck. If I draw any of these 20, I'm so happy. I'm like, oh my god, my head's busted. Any combination of these 20 versus a traditional pendulum deck, which has like 15 magicians that don't do absolutely shit. They don't do anything. These are the cards I, I would love to see an upstart goblin over any magician, over harmonizing, over anything. They give free counters to your auto wins here. Absolutely amazing. Now, one important factor as well. Chronograph is also a spell card, okay? Now, let me tell you the best, the absolute best magician in the deck. It is not harmonizing magician, okay? Chrono is a spell that leaves a scale and puts out the best magician, Time Gazer. There's a reason Time Gazer is the best magician. As you see here, there's so many spells I can't even fit it into the damn screen here. There's so many, the, the, more than the, uh, three quarters of the deck is spells. Hence, the only way you lose is if, uh, like say to Nibiru, is if Servant gets Ghost Ogre. If it gets asked, you're resolving it again. You're playing 30 spells or something, 25 spells. So Time Gazer, which is a card you get from, you have nine ways to get it. Three Chrono, five Pangolar, Gazer itself. You literally use Pengal to search Time Gazer, screw Harmonizing, to protect the Servant from the Ghost Ogre. Most of the time, you're normal summoning the Time Gazer to protect the Servant. It's also why a lot of you people lose with Pendulums when you see Servant. Oh, what if it gets Ghost Ogre? What if it gets Ash? Bro, if it gets Ash, you're resolving it again. If you can't resolve the Servant twice, you're playing your deck wrong. And with Time Gazer, it'll never get Ghost Ogre. And it's searchable by your whole deck. So, just like that, this is the way to play and to stop all the new cards that apparently screw pendulums, which when I play them, testing versus friends online, proxying them, uh, they don't do shit all when played like that. Now, one more card we played to with that, there's a, a 28 card engine over there. So 28 cards, all amazing spells and whatnot. It's cards to protect the servant. Now, one abductor, why? If you draw a servant and not the abductor, Electrum sends the abductor and add, adds abductor to your hand. Because you play so many spells, abductor's resolving every time. Let me show you how many two, all you need to resolve any of these are two spell counters because the pendulum scale will give you the third. Does that make sense? So with that being said, you through duelist alliance equal two spells because it gets you alliance and pen call. Every draw card gets you two spell counters because they draw you into another spell because you play so many. So you have nine, draw, nine, 12, 15. You have 15, two spell counters by itself and you activate the scale as a third. So you have 15 cards that say uh, resolve servant or abductor with one of these 15. With that being said, if you don't hard draw the servant, Electrum gets a servant to still resolve it. So servant, you have master in your hand, resolve servant, you have three counters. Online, same thing. Draw a card, draw into another spell, boom, done. And you have so many spells to resolve them. Does that make sense? That's why you play the one abductor versus three. If you play three, it might conflict with servant a little because you're always going to draw them a lot. Next, the second best magician, harmonizing. Time gazer is the best. And the smallest magician count possible because they suck. But you need these three for the utility. This ensures guard dragon combo no matter what. This ensures Mystic Minds nothing, and this ensures Anti Spells nothing. So you want to ensure you have these three, no more, no less. Oaf Dragon is the only one that you can put in also if you want to, but Dragon Color I believe is better. Uh, next one, two Dark Worm, one Gate Zero, one Distrudo. The Guard Dragon package, you do not need three Dark Worm. Normal something, drawing Dark Worm sucks. Drawing this card sucks. You don't want to draw it, you want to send it with Foolish. And you have, if you really need to for the Guard Dragon combo, you have Dragon Color. You don't want to Normal Summon Dark Worm. It, you want to normal summon time gazer to ensure servant goes through because when servant goes through you auto win the duel there's nothing your opponent can do when servant resolves you win and because you play a 30 card deck and six servants that means i'm, I'm not that good at math we'll get nerd trip in here later but i'm telling you you draw it 99 of the time and if you uh, also see you have nine time gazers in your 30 card deck as well you ensure that it will resolve no literally no matter what like there's nothing that could stop it and 
uh, because time gets overprotected. I mean, you I, if they actually you can use more spells if you want. Uh, one Endemia, one Jackal. Uh, I want to play two Jackal, but if you banish the you desires, banish the Jackal game one, who cares? Because they don't have Nibiru game one, they have a game two, game three. Next, we're gonna go with Extra Deck, uh, super quickly. So I'm practicing a few cards in here. Sorry about that. Electrum. This line, this should be B Cop. Uh, I think B Cop is better than uh, the Cyframe card because the effect is relevant. LP, Triple Burst, Agar Pain, not Proxy, sorry. Seal, Seal, okay. Hot Red, okay. And then Saryuja. Saryuja is, so Seal, Hot Red, and Saryuja are the three, I'm gonna put them here so you all see. Seal, Hot Red, Saryuja are the three cards you use uh, for a combo, I'll show you right now. Absolute Vortex Dragster. Now, uh, Absolute and Vortex, you want as many negates as possible facing Mystic Mind, because Striker Mind can still put up infinite negates. So, Absolute, uh, er, sorry, infinite ways to stop uh, stop your Mystic Mind uh, interruptions, uh, Mystic Mind negates. So, the combo you're going to end on uh, most of the time is Seal, Vortex. You're going to Seal, Vortex, Hot Red, sorry for the proxies here. And then you're going to have the Jackal and Demion, one of them, well, Jackal. Most of the time, so you're gonna have a divine strike and the jackal. So, mo and sorry, and the dragster. So, most hands are like this after siding, and without siding, it's without the divine strike. So, you're gonna have these, uh, and this is just an auto win, even if they sphere mode you. Who gives a shit? You still have three negates through sphere mode or super poly, you still have three negates, doesn't matter. The only card that hurts you is Nibiru. So, if you stop Nibiru and this divine strike stops all the one, you just win, and jackal stops them all that. Next, the going second cards is Phoenix, Cerberus, Unicorn. I don't know why anyone chooses Dark Rebellion, XYZ, Dragon over any of these. The versatility of these being Lynx and the fact that you could draw one after doing it is insane. And then Brawl Sword. Okay, those are the only cards you need going second. Everything else is a Guard Dragon combo and, and the Nightmares and Brawl Sword. All right, now in terms of the side deck theory, there's a lot of theory that goes into this. This is your auto win against the new spell card. You need to play it. It's not debatable in the side deck. You don't need to main it because no one maining that spell card. All right, next, one desires for going second. I'll explain why. The rest of the deck, I'm going to show you the side deck, is cards just obliterate your opponent going second, and you want to ensure all the draw cards in the game. So you want to make sure you draw it, but you cannot play the desires in conjunction with these, otherwise I would main three desires. But there will be nothing else to take out, you'd be left with one desires. If you banish one of these, you cry when they have that spell card, okay? Next, cards that just are auto wins. You play a 30 card deck, don't forget. So after siding, when you know you're going second, or uh, you can also choose to go second with this amazing side deck. You have 10 cards that just draw into everything here. So as I said, there's a game plan behind this entire deck. It is built perfectly to ensure whether you're going first or second, lose a die roll or not, you're going to win the game regardless. So main deck is made to uh, make sure you serve in turbo. And then game one, game, game two, game three, it's serve in turbo plus auto win turbo in the side deck. So you play 10 cards to draw into... These five against backward decks, draw one and you auto win. This is Spell Counselor, okay? So Striker, five auto wins, your Spell Counselors. So five auto wins versus Striker, five auto win versus back row, seven auto win versus Mystic Mine. And then when you face an actual good deck, like monster decks, let me explain more theory here, okay? Sphere mode is by far the best, is better than Nibiru, and it's better than the new spell card. Why? Because let me tell you something crazy big brain here. This is like 5,000 IQ. All right, pay close attention here. Your opponent is gonna know the world. You're like the world knows Nibiru and the spell card is broken. So what do you think good players are gonna do? Are they just gonna say, "Oh, huh, Nibiru's a card. I'll just let my whole board. Uh, I'll just let my whole board die. It's okay." They're gonna be smart. They know the whole world. The hype right now is around Nibiru, the new hand trap, and which only bad decks can play the hand trap. The only shit decks can do it because they can't use their own grave. But anyways, the whole world's playing around uh, Nibiru. And the new spell card, Dark Ruler, no more, whatever. The whole world's playing around those. So what do you do? They're going to play cards that, like uh, Zephyr, Divine Strike, or they're going to find a way to get a, a Counter Trap Negate for, like, the whole every Thunder deck is going to start playing Orcus now. So they're going to have the Counter Trap Negate. They're going to find a way to put up Appaloosa on board to protect them from Nibiru. They're going to do all these types of cards that, that will result on their board being a smaller board, and but ensuring that they can play through the spell card and ensuring that they can play through... Uh, the other cards. So what do you do? You side none of them. I don't care how broken they are. The whole world's playing around them. So what do you do instead? You go back to the basics. Some people are going to go uh, Spell Counselor, send Riser, with Riser Dragon, Spell Counselor, negate everything. So what do you do? You think ahead of the game. You play Lava Golem. Because nothing can stop these. The opponent's going to be playing cards like Spell Counselor. They're going to send uh, Imperial Order with Curious, set it with Griffin. 
they're going to have a Appalooza as well. They're going to have like Appalooza Imperial Order or they're going to have Appalooza Spell Counselor or some shit along those lines to ensure that the spell cards and Super Poly don't go through and Nibiru don't go through. So what do you do? You play cards that stop what they're going to side against for you. So, and nothing's going to stop these five. Hence, these are the best weight cards to play against. Uh, you see that big brain logic there? That's a level you got to be on to be ahead in this game. Now, lastly, little bonus cards here. All right. I'm going to show you guys some bonus cards, which I think you could play if you want to. But I ultimately decided not to play these because there was no space. But if you're playing a 60 card deck, you can. All right. So Triple Cerberus, the second Jacqueline and a Garuda. Uh, you could play all these if you really want to. But I feel the 40 card deck right now is perfect in, uh, in terms of ensuring Servant Turbo. Triple Curtain Razor, they're still spell cards. Double Abductor because there's more ways to get it. If you play three Abductor, uh, draw, you can start draw a lot. So that way it doesn't conflict with Servant. Uh, so you can normal summon Abductor if you want. Uh, next, the third dark one, but I don't really want to because I'd rather summon Gazer. If you want to up the Magician count, Oath and Pen Call. Eccentric for going second is only if you play three Abductor because you can search it. Mary Mary, Yazi package, and the Utopia package. So I would play those two if you want. That's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys got this far, hit the subscribe button, and we're going to do combo tutorials in the next video. Or hey, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Peace. Hi, I'm Cara Delavine. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here.